hundred and three bitcoins every hour, guys. So in this tutorial, we're just gonna show you the wallets, okay? Uh, so you know that's the video that's missing on the page, so you can see all the page has been changed now. Uh, let's go here. And this is the video missing here, okay? So you should have completed this one. This video shows you how to download your wallet and install it on your system. And let me just uh, change this here, okay? And and uh, now I'm going to show you how to use your wallets, okay? So basically, we covered that on the previous video, on the previous video for Bitcoin wallet. And now we're going to do for the Litecoin wallet. Now, it's like the same because they're both, both identical, guys. So, uh, what I'm going to do here, so complete step three. So, you need to have completed this one here. Got your uh, uh, Bitcoin wallet so you can use it. So, let's go here to complete step three. And as you can see, I now have 23,887 Otoshi. So, you can see last time I, I claimed it was 39 hours ago, guys. So, basically what I need to do is this claim now because I already signed up so there is my uh, bitcoin bitcoin uh, latoshi sorry uh, litecoin address so i'm gonna do i'm gonna sign out here okay so i get out of the website uh, just to simulate what would happen to you if you sign out and then you need to sign in back in again right so refresh the page because the site is this site is quite a busy site so i didn't sign me out sign out again Okay, there you go. So now for me to sign in, I need my uh, Litecoin address. Okay, so getting your, okay, the Litecoin address. So let's minimize this one here. So what we need to do. So now if you have downloaded the Litecoin, you should have this icon showing on your computer somewhere or whatever you save it. Okay, you got the Litecoin wallet and your Bitcoin wallet. Okay, that's it. Uh, and mine is here. So once you open them, you can actually right click and pin it. Okay, so pin it to your taskbar there. So it's always there. So that's my... Uh, Bitcoin wallet and my Litecoin wallet. You don't need to have them open all the time But what you need to do is once you open them You need to let them sync so you can get all the information depending on how many connections you have to your wallet uh, You need to make sure the blocks are all synced uh, So, you know, it can take a little bit uh, depend how, how How many uh, transactions you have going on? Okay, so transitions you have going on so, you know so you open your Litecoin wallet is the same thing for the for the Bitcoin wallet. So if you have the Bitcoin wallet, you, you click on that as well, and you, you know they both open. So Bitcoin and Litecoin. So this one is going to be fast because this one I just opened. I checked uh, this morning uh, already, and this it can take a while for them to open if you close them, okay? Because they have to go back from the last time you close them. Now remember, once you Restart your computer, you need to restart your computer to close your wallets first, okay guys? You need to always close your wallets so no data is lost. Uh, so you can see, so is, this is my Bitcoin wallet. If I want to close it, which I'm going to close it because this one has about 12 connections. So I don't need, so it's now too active. But there are about 12 connections just in Bitcoin inside I'm claiming Bitcoin from. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is don't need to have them open because the system is constantly connecting uh, to get those those transition transitions going. So what you need to do is you know just close it and check it back in ag again. Uh, you know, and once you close it, make sure to let the wallet close down properly. Uh, so you know it, this doesn't happen. This one because the last time I opened is yesterday, as I showed you on the site. The last time I claimed uh, the light uh, the Litecoin. Uh, was yesterday okay 30 hours 30 something hours ago but there you go so there it is okay 16 hours behind okay as you can see so it's now syncing that 16 hours which is from yesterday just looking for any uh transaction or transitions that may have taken place and claim them okay now what we need is the litecoin address so we can log back into the site okay so let's open you go here to receiving address and you're going to select the one you selected first, okay? Always use, try and use the same address. Copy. Okay, now we go back to the site. Okay, we're going to enter there. The system automatically recognizes that that is my Litecoin address. And sign in. Okay, match the the puzzle image again. So, what's this one? Street sign. So, I do that. Okay. So, if you fail, okay, you just need to keep this. You get, you get better over time, okay? and submit and now it's gonna ask me to claim so as you can see my 23,000 as is now uh hundred more latoshis than it was when we started this video okay so next claim again we go through the verifying the images street signs everything is street signs here and verify okay submit 
and there he goes, and he's now claimed. So I'm now at 300,000, over 300,000 Latoshis. So guys, you can see, it's very easy, very simple to claim. Remember, with all these three sites I showed in these tutorials, you get paid weekly, okay? Uh, they have minimum, so Latoshis is 500,000 uh, or more to get paid. Uh, Bitcoins is 25,000, and on uh, um, the other side, the first side, is 30,000. So you need to have 30,000 Latoshis to get paid, okay? So it's try and keep your account always above the minimum payout so you can cash out when you want to cash out okay guys so once again i'm zanuns please comment rate and subscribe and remember to check out the other tutorials guys watch the tutorials again uh, subscribe to my youtube channel so you're always going to get uh, video updates sent to your email address as you can see there so guys there it goes pretty simple there is more sites there is more videos coming but this one's here this is the main ones to get you started get yourself set up and get started once you set yourself up you're ready to go guys okay you're ready to go it's, it's not that complicated so once again thanks for